This is the word of God as brought to you by Jesus Shelter YouTube channel as breathed and inspired by the Spirit of Jesus. The word of God this time, this hour that you brought by Jesus Shelter YouTube channel and as brought by the and inspired by the Spirit of God is about remembering where you come from. Remember where you come from to, to tap God blessing. Many times we forget our past, where we came from, and that bring us to us. That bring us to us, where we come from, forgetting the past, forgetting the parents. Many people forget their parents. There is a song that people are singing, some people are singing in Kenya. Ashiari makure rire na di na ginyo keigana wadoma na we na we na dumo na tane ashiari yaku. You see, uh, parents look after you. They wear patch clothes. They live without money. They went without food to educate you. But when you became rich and 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 stood in life, you forget them. Parents are important. Foundations are important. Where the foundation that stood you. Roots where we came from are very important. It's good always to remember and give thanks. Remember in the Bible, those people, one person went to give thanks. There's one person who went to give thanks. Uh, I think they were healed. I think they were rapers. I can't remember exactly, but there are people. Whoever, he went to give thanks. Going back to give thanks for those who supported you. Parent is not only your biological parent, Anybody who help you to stand and or help you somewhere in life, especially we see many people taking people and help people in developed nation. People come in a country where you have no crew, you don't understand, and many people get mentally sick when they go to a foreign land because people or you are having something called culture shock. People fast, even some people get mentally sick and loneliness because you don't have your people there. But you help people, uh, people have been supported well supported and given all the support and then they forget the people who help them that is one example and there's other example people forget their real parent anybody who help you somewhere in life and when you're blessed you start down looking that person you are seeking god curse in your life because the bible say the same measure you measure it will be measured to you if you sow sparingly the book of Corinthians, you sow you reap sparingly the Bible says, and John the Baptist told the disciples, our people, that if you have two clothes, give the one without. Many people have been supported by their parents. A parent is anybody who support you to stand, and you now you're moving, and you became well up. And then that person maybe is in a problem, and then you download him, you'd forget him. You are seeking God curse. A good example where somebody remember also the, where he came from, the roots, and was super blessed by God was David, King David. King David, the, uh, he had an agreement with the son of Saul, who was Jonathan, that I will help you, you David. Jonathan, his father was King Saul. King Saul was the king of Israel. When the David was already anointed to be the future king, but Saul was hunting David every day, searching for him to carry him. Every day. And one son of the president of the king, King Saul, who was Jonathan, he sided with David because he was spiritually wise, because he knew this is anointed king. David was anointed by Samuel to be his future king, but Saul was not happy. No, many people don't like a threat. They don't like somebody who is a threat. We saw many ministers killed long, when people were being killed a long time ago because of their potential. This, this is so wise he may come to be a leader in this nation. They were murdered. The same was happening even in the Bible. Saul was hunting David every day to kill him because he was anointed to be future king. The son of the president or the son, the son of the king Saul, Jonathan, protected David from being killed by his father. I make it short because there is, they had a lot of things they were doing together uh, in, this, in, the, in, 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 in quest of protecting David from his father, to protecting David from father of Jonathan, Saul. So, in essence, and in short, uh, um, David protected, uh, Jonathan protected David and made sure his father did not kill him. And later in life, David, Jonathan died, his, and his father already died, had already died as King Saul. 
and David could remember the goodness and agreement with Jonathan. Jonathan who was already dead. There was an agreement between the two that you remember in future, do not uh, let our people suffer, including myself and anybody of my family when you become future king of Israel. So David became king and Jonathan was dead. His father was dead, King Saul. Uh, sorry, Jonathan was dead. His father was already dead. So David remembered the goodness of Jonathan and he said, and he was asking, is there anybody left in the house of Jonathan, in the house of Saul, that I can bless and give all the wealth of his father, King Saul? Is there anybody? They tried to look, they couldn't find. I think it's first Samuel chapter 9. They tried to look and look, they couldn't find, but they said there is a cripple who lives on the street. I think he was living, or he had some, you were living somewhere. Melbibosheth of Rodiba and he was made, brought to King David given all the wealth of his grandfather Saul because of the goodness and agreement and the support he was given by his father Jonathan. Jonathan was the father of uh, Melbibosheth I think and uh, David Saul was the grandfather to Melbibosheth the cripple, the Melbibosheth so the all the wealth of his grandfather, King Saul, was given to Mebibosheth. And Mebibosheth was asking, why well, you call me, me, I look like a dog living on the street. How do you call me to Paris? But the goodness of his father, Jonathan, made him to be remembered by King David. David lived very successful life as a king and blessed by God because of remembering the roots. That he became king because of somebody called Jonathan. It is very important. And God protected his kingship and his reign as a king of Israel. For you to reign as a king in this world, to reign in the realm of God's blessing, it's very important to remember where you come from. It can be people supported you in the world nation. We have seen also, let's put it also another example, you bring our a husband to marry, especially if you bring fresh one, not live alone. They leave, you, people sometimes marry and leave the spouse in Africa or Asia or the, another country and they, they go to recognize or to prepare the way or to check where they are going, whether it's a place, then they call the family. But let's see the example where people marry fresh passion. A fresh passion you have not married, you come from a broad developed nation, you go bring somebody to a rich nation, support him, and you are bringing him, him here or her here, it can be a man or a woman, to be your wife or to be your husband, depending who. But that person, you're not bringing him to get citizen or to, to, to get citizens of that country. Of course you get the citizen, but the idea is your spouse. You take your spouse wherever you are. But this person after settling and after supporting him, all means has provided all documents and all proof that he's your wife because there is a lot of documentation. And the application of the visa is two times that you have to apply in your country. And then after two years, they have to do again. Because sometimes people cheat and they ask for uh, uh, bills, house bill, they ask for photos, they ask for electricity bill, things that show you live together. And you have to verify, uh, show evidence. And then after this person get papers and get settled, get jobs, educated, he review or she review. You wonder why. I get money, I don't have happiness. I get things, things doesn't, I get money, I use in long way. I keep say, say, giving money to people or money keep going, I don't know how. Or you may have money, you're not so happy. This inviting curse, forgetting where you came from because you did evil. Anybody who does evil, you will not go unpunished. It does not only forgetting the parent or people who help you. Evil has a reward. And God say, there is no rest for the wicked. There is no way you can do something wrong and God leave you like that. The God say, I am compassionate for giving the sinners, but I will never leave guilty and punished. When Jacob stole the birthright of his brother, he was made to work 14 years to get his little wife. The punishment he got for doing evil to his brother. Cain, I think there's something was told by God because of killing his brother. There is punishment. Especially if you die without repenting. Direct hell. The Bible says you must stop sinning. Daniel chapter 9 verse 24. There is a set time you have to stop and live life. You go through challenges in your marriage, in life, so you change, you grow. But if you don't grow, God will spew you. 
that will Bible say in the uh, book of Revelation, I will spew this lukewarm Christian. They are neither good nor hot. They never change. They, I want to come here, come through here. The Bible says in the book of James, these people are people who hear the word of God and as looking yourself in a mirror and then you forget yourself. The word of God is to check yourself in a mirror. Then you remove any pack, make sure everything is all right. The car is all right. That is the word of God. But you cannot keep listening to the word of God and you're not changing. You cannot pass through marriage challenges. You get advice from your parents, from your brothers, from, from a counselor, from yourself running how marriage work, how life work, and you never change, you become a hardliner you will face the Lord and judgment of God. Because the Bible says there's a set time you must stop and live the way people live according to the Bible and the God's way of life. That is Daniel chapter 9 verse 24. You must live according to God's uh, principle of life on earth, including marriages and working and everything you do. There is punishment coming. If you set time is finished and you are being advised, being told, you have gone through a step of challenges and challenges come to you so you grow challenges that marriage was not working there's a lot of challenges you face in life in job you must change to avoid god judgment you must change otherwise the judgment will come on you 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 look for yourself judgment and punishment and curse if you forget your roots forgetting where you came from never don't look punish betray person who supported you, you will get cast from God. Remember, the person went to give thanks, I think after they were healed. I think though, it was hearing in the Bible, I can't remember exactly the, the extract of the Bible, what he was talking about, but there's some 10 people, I think there were 10, or oh, one went back. Jonathan, David remember the goodness was done, and he, he didn't say, I'm a king, I will take everything for King Saul. He actually gave back the wealth of, he, of King Saul to the cripple who was there because of how he was protected by his son from being killed because of his potential to be a king of Israel in the future. He was standing there because of agreement of the father of the person who was living on the street, of a person who was a cripple helpless. It is his father who made King David to be king. He didn't download that cripple. He took him to Paris and gave him all the wealth of his father. Many people have invited cars for themselves, for forgetting people who support them. You must do right things to get the true blessing. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes, better have nothing or little that is blessed by God than have a lot that is sourced from the enemy or have a curse of God. This is the word of God. You must follow what God says. You must not forget the parent. Remember, we said parent is anybody who help you. We have seen many children have forgotten their parent. They forget and are cursing and accusing and, and abusing their parent. You should not abuse your parent and talking rude to your parent, forgetting to help your parent and you are capable. And when parents die, they bring big cars and uh, big uh, Mercedes, uh, Pajero, they bring big cars for the funeral, they buy expensive coffin, but they didn't help them. You should help somebody before he died. You should help somebody before he died, whether when he's sick, that one you should support, when he's alive. When somebody is dead, cannot know you are supporting him. Let him go with blessing and uh, that and go with the, uh, that you you are a good person who supported him or her don't forget your true biological parent don't forget parent who supported you to stand and to be who you are and then you use the seat that you are sitting on of blessing you are put there as a test because the bible says test is coming people will be tested by fire are you made of wood silver or gold if it's silver gold you shine if it's wood you become ash ash are people who are forgetting their parents and they get a cash from god this is the word of god don't forget your root root are important god said if you go to develop nation you get rich don't forget me when things your state has changed remember god otherwise you go to hell don't forget root, uh, your roots may you be blessed all over again.